Shark bites in just two days in the waters off the Treasure Coast. Tonight, two local young men are recovering, and they have incredible stories to share. News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran here with the interviews from both survivors. Dan? Well, Shannon, two men, one from Indian River County, one from Palm Beach County. They don't know each other, but it turns out they have a lot in common, including both coming face-to-face -face with sharks off our coastline this week. All they wanted to do was surf. Brandon Murray, age 22, and Brandon Taylor, age 21. The same first name, the same fate, after hopping in the water and onto their boards just north of Sebastian Inlet State Park. The whole shark, I could feel the whole body on my arm, like all muscle. I could, it was just like pure muscle. On Monday afternoon, Brandon Murray was surfing off Spanish House Point. He was about to take his last wave into shore, and out of the water came a four-foot shark with its mouth wide open. Right when I turned around, the shark, like, jumped out of the water and like spun and just grabbed my foot. The shark's teeth caught Murray's left foot, his pinky toe hanging on by a thread. Looks like razor blades just like from the bottom and then it goes like in between my toes and all out. On Tuesday afternoon just two miles north, Brandon Taylor didn't see a shark. He only felt it, clamping down on his left arm. Out of nowhere, like it felt like under my board, just a, something like a lot of pressure and it just like immediate I knew exactly what happened, like I felt the pain. Both Brandons know surfing has its risks, but never did they imagine that part of their own bodies would end up in the mouth of a shark. It was my own fault, to be honest. You know, I'm in their territory, I'm in their ocean. You know, you're taking a risk every time, and they, everyone knows that. Dozens of stitches each, these two want to warn others about what may be lurking in these waves. But neither can wait to get back into the water to surf once again. And lifeguards and park rangers near the Sebastian Inlet hadn't reported any shark sightings for several weeks. The last reported bite was in Brevard County on September 4th, and before that on May 9th in Vero Beach. Now, the victims in all of these cases are expected to make full recoveries. I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.